Egg. Hey. Hey. What brings you down to the, uh... Who? Oh. oh, God, Gladys was right. You gotta go home. No, I just, I, I stood up too fast. I got a head rush. Your valor is noted, but if you've got the flu, you gotta go. I don't have the flu. I'm just, I'm tired. Your color's not great. Lauren, if I feel anything flu-y, I'll, uh... Hey. I'll page you. Hey, 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 come on. Come on, sit down, sit no, down. No, no, I'm fine. I just, I haven't, I haven't eaten. Since when? Mm. <clears throat> hey, how many meals? <sighs> how many days? Two. Maybe three. Well, your concern is duly noted, but I don't need your help. But thank you. You know your staff's noticed? I mean, even I can tell you're weak on your feet. And you just admitted to caloric restrictions spanning over 72 hours. It's a cleanse, Lauren. Really, I'm, I'm fine. You know you sound like every first time where he's just been dragged to rehab. Whatever it is that you think this is, it isn't. And I don't appreciate the accusation. Do you hide food? Lauren? Sometimes people starve themselves after a binge, and not for health reasons, but because they feel ashamed. Well, it's not like that. It must be hard to hide your stash at home, what with Martin and the kids, so where'd you keep it? Nowhere. I don't Here? I, I in don't this have... office? No. Lauren, don't. No. I know how this looks. I do, believe me. But these are my dad's words. They're his words. And growing up, I had to hear them practically every day. My father struggled with his weight his entire life, and he didn't want me to suffer the same fate, so at an early age, he took an interest in my weight. An interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, started around the third grade. I had filled out a little bit, and uh, he would uh, make me go on crash diets out of the blue, um, skip meals, take meal replacement bars to school. As a nine-year-old? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he would make me take my shirt off so he could take pictures of my body to um, put up on the wall in the basement next to the makeshift gym that he had built for me to track my progress body progress chart. And if I would ever walk by him, he would smack my gut and say, Jesus, look at that thing. Got a lot of work left to do, don't we, buddy? And uh, what's worse is if I ever had a good weigh-in, which was not very often, I, uh, I would be over the moon because it would make me feel loved. And then, mm -hmm. this one time, I guess I would have been in middle school by this point, I just, I, I hated everything about myself. So I tried to hang myself. What? Jesus, Icky. No, it's okay. It didn't work, obviously. Ironically, I was too fat for the rod in the basement closet to hold me up, and it, it crashed down on my head, and my mom heard the sound and came to help me. What? What did your dad say? Oh, my dad. Um, well, that night of my way in, he uh, he just snapped another Polaroid for the wall and acted like nothing ever happened. <gasps> That's my dad for you. These are his words. But they don't control me anymore. They do not. They serve as a reminder of all of the things that I have conquered, which is a lot. And sometimes I look at these words and they, they remind me that I'm not that kid anymore and that I'm making better decisions. I'm making healthy decisions in my life. And that I no longer need to stand around with my shirt off and let others judge me. What? You know, that's not what I was doing, right? I'm fine. I am more than fine. 
you can rest easy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have patience to see. A couple nights ago, I was, uh, I was wearing this nice new sweater that Martin gave me, and, um, Harper told me that I looked handsome in it. And I immediately grabbed my stomach and I told her that she was wrong. It just popped out of my mouth. <laughs> I say things like that all the time. And VJ thinks that I'm a great father. <laughs> I'm teaching my kids that someone who looks like me doesn't deserve to be loved. But it's the same lesson that my dad taught me. Oh, man. He just used different words. Iggy, these aren't your dad's words. You wrote this. I know. These are your words. You're calling yourself this, and you're going to keep suffering until you stop. If I can't stop this note, that voice, it's the thing about myself that feels the most true. How do you stop believing that? Well, you could try talking to a therapist. <laughs> hey, I did. He saved my life. <laughs> 